Greetings. <clears throat> Welcome, everybody, to my studio here in Ithaca, New York, the North Star Art Gallery. And uh, this is a uh, presentation on the current show, which is all about bridges and boats, uh, like the card that you just saw. And <clears throat> this one that I'm working on is a uh, is part of this theme, and I'm doing it specifically for this show. It includes a bridge uh, over Fall Creek here in Ithaca, New York, and uh, it's uh, called uh, BB Lake. And it's part of the Cornell campus, uh, so I'll, I'll let you look at the painting here. Uh, uh, but I'm doing it from um, a photograph and from memory, but I'm also inventing things. I just had a, a uh, correspondence with a friend on Facebook who attended Cornell many years ago, and uh, he posted a, a photo of this bridge, and um, he mentioned he's a swimmer. I, I knew he was a swimmer back then, and he mentioned about diving off this bridge. And so today I just invented this uh, diver, so I've uh, made up these figures that are standing back there. And so it's a combination of, uh, of uh, creation and invention and uh, elaboration. And um, I'm inventing the, uh, the uh, sort of the ambiance here. It was a, uh, a spring day, but I'm inventing the color. It's, at this point, it's pretty much all uh, warm hues, except for this uh, background part of the uh, Cornell building on the opposite shore, which I'm using some cool colors. And you'll notice this mauvish, uh, low chroma purple color. The whole canvas was tinted this color when, uh, before I started. And I almost always uh, work on a toned canvas or a tinted canvas. It's the uh, way that the uh, old masters would work, uh, Rembrandt and all of the uh, Renaissance painters. So when you saw me here, I was just kind of building up the highlights. You can come back in. And this is going to take a lot more articulation, but it's going to be really fun. Uh, it's already fun of doing this glint on the water. Oh, I wanted to mention I have a couple of working titles in, in mind. And one is based on a Paul Simon song, which you probably can think of. It's a bridge over troubled waters. But in this case, I'm calling it bridge over glinting waters. And I have an alternate title based on this uh, diver here and it's called The Ark of a Diver, and it's also based on a, a song title by uh, Stevie Ray Winwood. One of his title, titles of his album, I think, was called The Ark of a Diver back in, the, I think, maybe in the 70s. And I've also invented this canoe back here, so I'm just kind of uh, creating things as I go along. But it has this wonderful uh, light, which was the main, uh, main actor, as it were, before the I put in actual actors, so the light was uh, what the painting was all about. Okay, I'm going to give a, uh, a tour of the exhibit here, so you can see uh, some of the, of the paintings here. And um, I'll start with this uh, large one. It's an oil painting of the Susquehanna River, and it's been in my studio down in uh, Wailusi, Pennsylvania, for quite a few years. Uh, and I've had it kind of hidden behind things, but it's a great painting. I'm surprised it hasn't sold, but it could be your painting. It's available. Uh, but I think I'm going to add a, a, a canoeist in here, right about here. So I think that would uh, add something to it. It's nice as it is, but um, I may add some things to it. So you can look at this uh, pastel above it here. I'm going to turn the music down a little bit. But there's a little bit of glare there because of the... Uh, But it's a bridge in um, in Rome uh, on the uh, above the Tiber River. It's called the Ponte Emanuele Dewey, and I did it right there on location. I did a little sketch first, and it includes these wonderful uh, statues, uh, these Bernini statues, and uh, back here is Saint Peter's uh, in the distance. Okay, we'll go over to this uh, this next one here. This is a. Uh, a painting of an island off of the coast of uh, Sicily. It's kind of between Sicily and uh, Italy. The name of it is Lipari. And uh, I spent about a week there and did uh, sketches and paintings right on location. And I've, so I've done several of these uh, fishermen. And this is an oil painting. And over here we have a painting of um, the uh, Walt Whitman Bridge in Philadelphia. And it includes both of our themes here of a a, a tugboat and a, a little boy too there and uh, the bridge. It's a really an exercise of perspective with that uh, dynamic uh, uh, 
angle of the underside of the bridge. And this one that you're looking at is a, um, a painting of uh, some kids at Gloucester, Massachusetts. Uh, of course, I invented the birds, got some photographs and, uh, and invented them, and I uh, just decided to include those. Okay, moving over here, a um, oil painting of, uh, of uh, Stuart Park here, looking towards Stuart Park. Uh, it's a self-portrait. You can go in and uh, see that I put myself in there. <laughs> I guess I'm allowed to do that. And um, I invented the clouds here. I guess the clouds are probably the, the main thing. And I, I used all warm hues in, in this painting too. It's basically a study in value with the warm hues. And uh, doing the clouds is great fun, uh, trying to get them to uh, create this perspective uh, alignment. In other words, clouds have a perspective aspect to them also, going back into space. And the one you're looking at there now is from um, Maine. It's a plein air painting at Acadia National Park. And the one here is a uh, painting of Rome. If you follow me over here, I have this group of paintings also um, from Rome and some from Philadelphia. But I'm going to talk about this uh, painting here because it's uh, one that's captured my uh, uh, attention for quite a few years. And it was initially inspired by this wonderful painting of um, Corot. And it's in the uh, National Gallery in DC. I believe there might be another version of it in the Louvre, but it's a, a, a painting that kind of uh, uh, presages uh, modernism and uh, people like um, Cezanne were influenced by it because of its uh, geometric quality. So I went to the same, or tried to find the same position that Corot painted from, and I've done several views there. But these two, I wanted to show you these two first. These are also of the same uh, bridge, uh, of the Ponta Fab Fabricio. This is the, the bridge back here. And it's on the uh, Isola T Tiberna. And the bridge goes back to 63 BC, and it's been in continual use since then as a pedestrian bridge. And below it, I did this on the same year, it's a pastel painting of the uh, same uh, uh, subject. And below, this is another one from the island of Lipari. It's a pastel, and uh, uh, I did that uh, plein air right on location. And um, that one that you're looking at is a uh, one from Philadelphia. So if you turn around here, these are some plein air paintings of, uh, of uh, Rome. This top one I, I got up uh, before sunrise, got right down there as the sun was breaking uh, over the uh, Tiber River and did that one uh, right on location. And the bottom one is also a plein air painting. And this one is on my uh, uh, DVD, my downloadable instructional uh, uh, video about painting plein air in Italy. As is this one, this is uh, the famous Ponte Vecchio in, in Florence. It's the uh, uh, bridge that goes from the Uffizi across to the Ultra Arno. Okay, if you follow me around here. Um, another one of the, uh, the, this one here that uh, you're looking at now is the, uh, also the Ponte Fabricio, and uh, it was done um, in the evening plein air. This is the Museo Ibraico, the Hebrew Museum, and uh, uh, just one of my interpretations of, of that. Below um, a bridge near Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania, going over the Susquehanna River at Pittston. Um, oh, and this one here is a, uh, a view of the uh, uh, Schuylkill River in uh, Philadelphia. It's a, uh, and I have a, uh, a scholar in the background, so it fits my theme here of bridges and, uh, and boats. Uh, okay, you can take a look at this one here. And this is a view of the uh, Susquehanna River near Wyalusing, Pennsylvania. And it was based on a plein air painting. Uh, and uh, this is another one of these paintings where I've uh, created the clouds, invented the clouds, and again here using all warm tones. If you look at the one below it here, this one under glass is a mixed media painting where the clouds are uh, all in cool tones mostly. I mean, there's some warm in there, but contrasted with the one above it, they're primarily uh, uh, muted colors and uh, there's a boater in this painting that's why it fits the theme but uh, the still life was done in my studio and it was started as a watercolor and then it was gone over completely with acrylic and then it was coated with a clear acrylic uh, a transparent uh, coating and then 
about finished off with oil painting. So if you walk around here, um, you're going to see two paintings of uh, bridges here. And uh, this bridge is down in Pennsylvania, kind of between uh, Montoursville and uh, Dushore. It goes over the Royal Sock Creek. And it's a theme that I've done several uh, uh, paintings of the of people on bridge, these kids, and sometimes adults uh, jump in. And if you go over here to the left, here's two more from uh, Rome. The top one that you're looking at there is also this uh, Isola Tiberna, but the bridge there is a, a modern uh, construction on, on that side of the island. And that one that you're looking at is a, uh, a uh, sunrise painting with the uh, Castle Sant'Angelo over there. And uh, we're going to go over here now to these two of, uh, of Maine. This one is a island across from Monhegan, and uh, they have these wild goats living there. And uh, uh, this is one I did uh, a few years ago. And <clears throat> the bottom one here is a um, painting from uh, Stonington, Maine. It's on Deer Isle, where I've spent uh, uh, quite a bit of time doing plein air painting. It's a wonderful little town up there, uh, not far from uh, Camden, Maine. Okay, and that one uh, of the uh, uh, Delaware River at the Delaware Water Gap, a famous uh, landmark between Pennsylvania and New Jersey. Okay, I think I'll finish up here now, so you'd uh, come back here to me. <laughs> and uh, so thanks so much for your attention. This is the uh, show with the theme of uh, bridges and boats here at the North Star Art Gallery. And as you can see, I paint here in the, in the gallery, and uh, this is where I do all my studio painting, and uh, it's surrounded by my work, but we're uh, open to the public too, mostly by appointments, and, um, and um, I think that uh, covers it. So you can see the whole show on our website, northstarartgallery.com. It has all the sizes and price information, and, uh, and also um, I have... Uh, essays on, on the website too. I have a special essay that I've written all about this exhibit so you can uh, read more in depth of, about uh, what I think about this theme. So uh, thanks so much for your attention. <laughs>